is the first time I won a challenge on Drag Race. Woo, 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 woo. Oh my God. Me and Roxy started off the week with no badges. Now we have two badges, and I won $5,000 for the ASPCA. Give it cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. That lip sync was everything. everything. So really? Nice. I was literally going from both of you, and I was like, I don't know. It was amazing. It was fabulous. It was, amazing. It was really sick. I am so stoked that I put another $5,000 in the piggy bank for the miracle of love, and I finally earned my own badge. It feels good. We went from needing badges to, to having to our own badges. Y'all jumped the gun real quick. <laughs> Guys, said, God damn. I might have made a mistake. Roxy is a fierce competitor, and now she has two badges. And one of those badges I gave her. So if Roxy makes it to the end, I'm part of that. And if I don't make it, I'm part of that. <laughs> oh, oh. There's a sister. OK, the first time being cut off was cute. I understood it. I was the front runner. I get it. But the second time, bitch, this feels personal. It got me all in my feelings. That wasn't supposed to happen. Damn. What's going on, fish cakes? Fish cakes. <laughs> if I'm being honest, this one actually does sting a lot. I feel like, damn girl, like everybody just go cut me every week. Like it just. I promise you, it wasn't anything personal. It was just like an eye for an eye for me. But because it was a tie, I looked at Vanjie. I said, what do you want to do? Because we only get one. For me, it's like a cop out. Like, and she snipped you. Let's snip her that way. It's like a. Like, almost like an excuse. We couldn't do Nina. Nina gave me a badge. I can't do Nina. Yeah. Chanel's trying to win her badge. I want her to win a badge. I couldn't do her. Mick gave her a badge. She gave me a badge. I cannot. And they did so good today in the challenge. How are we going to snip one of them? I don't know. It, it, it like, don't even feel fair to me, because I, I don't even feel like I'm the front runner like that. Bitch, bullshit. I don't buy it. There's a lot of explanation being handed out, but what it all sounds like to me is let me cut you so I don't have to cut my friend. You want to call it in the lines? You want to call, call it what you want to, bitch, but the girls are definitely playing the game, bitch, and it's working out in their favor. But guess what? I can play this game, too, OK? It did hurt my feelings when you swore me on stage. I love you. Oh, oh, oh she's not out. I didn't just pick you to get snipped tonight, girl. It was a dual thing. Uh, like, swear you on stage, that was just to be, you know, that was just to be cat. But, it, you know, I'm not going to, like, hold nothing against you. I just don't like that kind of stuff. But I understand where you're at. And I still love you, girl. Right now, it's a little awkward. Like, when someone farts and nobody knows who did it. Something in the air, we don't know quite what it is. Got Mick. I just want to say this. At the beginning of the week, when you did make mention that you had felt like Angeria, myself, and Nina were all in some sort of an alliance or something together. Wait, so yeah, Chanel and Angeria, you guys really aren't in a clique or, or alliance or anything? Because Anyone? I remember when I was lip syncing, you two were going off for Nina only. Oh! I would be lying if I said that that did not hurt because that never happened and that never will happen. Like tonight, I was vocally cheering on both of you, saying go Queens, because I didn't want there to be any miscommunication or misconstruing of, I think, the intention of cheering people on. What are people, people are making faces, what? What? This is just so messy. <laughs> yeah. Like so messy. Now we gotta be mindful of who we cheer on. No. I don't care who the f you're cheering for at all. Like, there's other little things and people were whispering to me. So I was just like, I'm right. just gonna ask them. Well, who the hell is saying this? Sh Where the f is this coming from? We were adding up the math. We were like, okay, well, what this math? Like, just the math of, well, if somebody wins and they give away this, then this person will have two and then this person will have one. Sudoku. Like, Sudoku. Wait, Sudoku. And then I went to Banji. If Nina wins, she's gonna give the badge to Chanel. And it seems that they have an alliance. You went to Vanji? Yes. When it was presented to me, it was the word alliance was brought up. I was like, do you think that this is a possibility? And I wanted to make sure. So yeah. I told Mick. And they were talking about it. And then Nina said she was giving yeah. her badge so that's to where Chanel. It came, that's where it no, that, no, that's not what happened. And I was like, there's no way, like, LOL moving on. And then the cheering thing happened. It was just like another little moment. I'm, I'm so lost and I'm so confused with all of this. What was a very open conversation carried over into another conversation in another aspect of the conversation. At the end of the lip sync, I see it. Ooh, 
Nina, and me. You brought it up. It's about the click or whatever. Your aren't in a click or anything. I'm back the map. So far in this competition, I think I've been trying to be aware of everything that's going on around me. I'm over it. And at this point, I realized that I cannot keep up with these bitches and their mathematical strategy of how this game is working. Just get the f out of the drag. Get the f out of the Girl, I don't know. Like, can I just get my first badge? I want to win money for my charity. That's what I really want. <sighs> and as far as all this drama about cliques and alliances, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars receives a one-year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics, a coveted spot in the Drag Race Hall of Fame, and a $200,000 donation to the charity of their choice, courtesy of the Paulette Fund, with extra special guest judge, Alec Mappa. Hôm nay là một ngày mới ở trong cái workroom. <sighs> This game has changed. Three queens have two badges. I'm not jealous at all. I'm not. I'm really not. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. How are we feeling? Humbled. <laughs> <laughs> You know where to go for the mecca of gay shit. It's right here, and you know that's right. So make sure you click to subscribe so you never miss a thing.